So let's have a look at an example. So we've got here A and B are points in the Cartesian plane such that OA is 3i and OB is 2i subtract j. So let's quickly get my pen to work and we open up a quick Cartesian plane and we'll draw on these two vectors. So first of all we always label our axes. So OA is 3i so we're going to have a vector that's just in the x direction so that'll be my A point there vectors in that direction and that will be three units long. There's nothing, there's no J component, so there's no vertical movement. And then if I look at OB, it's 2Y subtract A, so come out two units, down one unit, so that'll be my B there. So that would be B, okay, and that's in the direction. So remember O indicates the origin. So anything O something is always indicated by the, is from the point, from the origin to that point. And it's three units, uh, sorry, two units along and one unit down for the negative J. First question says to find AB. Well, we'll zoom in a little bit so we can see it. Well, AB is this vector here from A to B. So in order to find vector AB, we are going to move from A to zero. So AO, we have to go along AO, and then we have to go down AB, uh, sorry, OB. So we go from A to B. Now you'll notice that I've got AO. Now we've defined OA as 3i, so AO is just negative 3i because it's in the opposite direction. If there was a J component, it would be opposite in both, but we've only got the I component, so I'll put it like this just to indicate that I'm going in the opposite direction. So just to rehash that, just to quickly understand it, OA is in the O2A direction, so AO is in the opposite direction, so it must be the negative, okay? OB is as defined, so it's 2i subtract j. Now, all of these are vectors, so I need to put my tildes in, and now I simply do the addition. Negative 3i plus 2i is negative 1i, and plus negative j, so it will be minus j. That would be my component, and if we have a look at the vector itself, that kind of makes sense. If you think about it here, we're going from A to B, we're going down one unit because it was at zero, now it's at negative one. So going down one unit, which is that part of the component, and then we're going to the left one unit as well, which is what that is. So A, B is negative I subtract J. Okay, so that's the first part of that question. Let's zoom back out again. And then if we, if we look at question B, we can say to ourselves, we'll find OM where M is the midpoint of A and B. So if we go back a little bit, we might remind ourselves what that is. So if we have a look at the, the, question, the formula for midpoint, OM is a half of OA plus OB, assuming that we find the midpoint of the segment AB. So if we go back to the question we are doing, okay, so the midpoint OM is half of OA plus OB. Now, these are in both the original direction, so it's going to be a half of OA, which is 3I, plus OB, which is 2I minus J. So if we do that sum, half, 3I plus 2I is 5I and minus J. And just quickly, it's going to be 2.5i minus 0.5j. And that would be how we find the midpoint. If we have a look again, we're trying to find the location of that point and the vector joining it. So that point there is m. And if we have a look at that, that's about two and a half units long. It's halfway between two and three, and it's a half a unit down. And then that's exactly what we've got there. Okay, so there are some questions to have a go at in a minute, but the second video is going to be looking at this concept of the unit vector, and we'll come back to that in the next video.